Hey, what's up guys, Steven here. Welcome back to another video and today we're taking a closer look at the new Huawei Mate 50 Pro. So Huawei sent me this phone a few weeks ago to test it out. Now I could try out many things with the smartphone. Now it's really a camera flagship, but the main question right now is, can you use Google on the smartphone? Can you use your apps on the smartphone? So today we'll have a closer look at the phone, what's new, a little bit of the camera performance, and of course, how to install and use apps on the Huawei Mate 50 Pro. The new Huawei Mate 50 Pro, a true flagship. Yes, it still comes without Google Mobile Services and 5G access, but it's an outstanding camera phone and a great all-round device. It's a thin and curved phone with IP68 protection and a durable glass on top of the screen. The 6.74 inch OLED looks gorgeous and it uses a high-res 1212p screen with 120Hz refresh rate and HDR10 Plus support. The notch contains a selfie camera, a TOF 3D scanner for proper face identification and a speaker slash earpiece. The ultra-wide 30 megapixel selfie camera offers three options for the field of view and even 4K recording. Of course it comes with a high-end chipset and that's why the Mate 50 Pro is based on the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 SoC, even if it's limited to 4G connectivity. You can choose between 256GB and 512GB of storage. I've got the 256GB version in this beautiful shiny black. The Mate 50 Pro's 4700mAh battery charges at an impressive rate too. Either 66W fast wire charging right out of the box or with Huawei's 50W wireless charger. The screen is one of the most beautiful OLED screens I've seen on the phone. And there is high frequency 1440Hz PWM brightness dimming for users sensitive to regular PWM dimming. The phone also has a peak brightness of well over 900 nits, so outdoors it's absolutely no problem even on super sunny days. Further, you can choose between smart resolution, dynamic adjustments, or high which is native resolution 1212p or the low 808p for battery saving purposes. The Huawei Mate 50 Pro offers three refresh rate options, standard 60Hz, high 120Hz, and dynamic which is switching between 60 and 120Hz to extend the battery life. Of course, a good screen also needs stereo speakers. And the Huawei Mate 50 Pro speaker system features a hybrid stereo speaker system. There is one dedicated speaker at the bottom, while the earpiece acts as a second front-facing one. As mentioned before, it's powered by a 4700mAh battery, making it a great performer. The Mate 50 Pro did very well in my tests and lasted for my heavy use easily 1.5 days. It takes around 40 minutes for the Mate 50 Pro to go from 0 to 100% and that's pretty fast. The phone runs Android with EMUI 13, which contains Android 12 and has no Google services. Instead, EMUI 13 relies on Huawei's petal search and Huawei's own services just as part of the HMS Core and of course the App Gallery App Store. But also there is Qspace, which is a very easy way to use Google Apps on Huawei smartphones. More on that a bit later on. Now EMUI 13 upgrades the previous EMUI 12 with more functional app shortcuts, stacked widgets, resizable smart folders, smart storage space, better sharing options and of course improved security and privacy. Now what personally really impressed me are Huawei's own apps like Petal Maps that works incredibly well and also the built-in video editor which is called Petal Clips which really makes my life easier for editing TikTok videos. Of course, the Mate 50 Pro also features an optical under-display fingerprint scanner, but there's also secure face recognition thanks to the TUF 3D scanner. But guys, the back camera is the real smoke show on the Huawei Mate 50 Pro. The primary 50 megapixel RYOIB sensor comes with a unique stabilized lens with a true physical variable hardware aperture from f1.4 to f4.0. And then there's also the 13 megapixel ultra wide camera with autofocus and macro capabilities. The 64 megapixel telephoto camera has a periscopic lens for 3.5x optical zoom though Huawei says that the photo quality up to 10x zoom is absolutely lossless thanks to the high-res sensor. So it's using basically the zoom and a digital crop and really there's almost no loss on it. The camera quality is pretty outstanding. I don't think there are any more needs of a camera review since DxO Mark already gave the phone the best score I've ever seen. But still I want to add my personal thoughts. The hardware aperture sounds maybe like gimmick, but trust me, it's an industry-leading feature. I've never seen such a natural bokeh on any smartphone except then on professional cameras. With f1.4 you can really get that smooth blur in the background where it's really hard to tell if that shot was taken on a mobile. 
No further, the low light performance is pretty sick. It reminds me like of the P20 days. How this phone deals with low light is unreal. Now my gaming room has so many LEDs and many phones struggle with the light, but the Mate 50 Pro really takes amazing shots here. Also the video mode has improved a lot, so for me videos are really important and the gimbal feature is super steady. And also the wide angle lens in 4K60 provides really stunning footage which looks crisp and is pretty sharp. Maybe not 100% smooth, but very good for a smartphone. Now when it comes to the zoom, well guys, I don't really use zoom, but on the Mate 50 this zoom is finally worth it. Up to 10x, almost no quality loss. Now I don't need the 100x, but having the ability to take up to 10x with no loss, that is pretty crazy. Overall, this phone really deserves the highest DxO mark rating as this performance is crazy, period. The Mate 50 Pro is, as mentioned before, also powered by the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 by Qualcomm with 8GB of LPDDR5 RAM. And either you have the 256 or the 512GB of UFS 3.1 storage. Now obviously with those specifications, the Huawei Mate 50 Pro has the hardware to handle whatever game you can install and run on it, and run it smoothly. Now gaming performance is great, it can get a little bit warm in performance mode, but I didn't experience any stutter, throttling or hiccups. Well, overall it's just a great phone without 5G and GMS. But for the last one, there's a little workaround, which we're going to talk about right now. Well guys, as you've seen in the introduction, the Mate 50 Pro is an amazing smartphone with plenty of technology inside. But how does it feel to use the smartphone? How do you get apps? And how do you also use um, Google apps like YouTube? Well, um, let's have a closer look and let's do a little walkthrough and a little guide on how to do that. Now, first of all, this is EMUI 13, as you can see, so 13.0.0. And it's amazing how much effort Huawei puts in EMUI to polish it, to make it look better, to make it look not only better, but also much faster with all the animations. And also they implemented a lot of cool shortcuts. For instance, if you just swipe up on an icon, you get now um, some quick toggles. So to take a quick snapshot, photo, video, switch to super macro mode. And you can do that on plenty of the applications, like here also add someone to contact. Now it's pretty amazing how EMUI evolved. Also, there's this multi-window function. So for instance, um, if you want to watch some YouTube video, you just um, open it up in the background, you tap this little new icon right over here, and you get a floating window with YouTube, which is really amazing. Now this window, you can actually make it smaller, you can just drag it around the screen, and in this video, you can just, um, in this um, window, you can actually just play back videos. The same um, works also with WhatsApp um, to read chats, to type something. It is pretty amazing for multitasking. Also, this phone has plenty of power, so it's no problem to have simultaneous apps open at the same time. Now, if you go to settings, also something that's really important is if we go here to display and brightness. So um, the screen resolution, now it comes with a high resolution screen with also 120 Hz, but in order to save battery, because Huawei was always focused on long battery life on smartphones, you can switch the screen resolution to smart. So whenever you don't need such a high screen resolution, it will actually lower it to um, yeah, decrease the workload of the GPU and to increase the battery life. The same goes with the screen refresh rate. So as you can see, it comes with 120 Hz display, but in the menu is something you sometimes just don't need 120 Hz. So if you keep it on dynamic, um, you will actually get the 120 Hz when you need it and still save battery when you don't need it. So those features are really important. Some people still don't know that they can adjust it right over here, but I would really recommend to adjust it to your needs. Also, I really love the dark mode in EMUI 13. The dark mode works in everything it's just really beautiful and I cannot switch back to normal mode anymore. Home screen and wallpaper, so EMUI 13 is also very customizable. You have a lot of different themes, as you can see, it looks just so much more beautiful. For instance, we have now Autumn, so I can just simply apply an Autumn theme to the smartphone and even though um, it doesn't have um, all those Google kits anymore, as you can see, all those themes, everything that the community builds, it is just so damn beautiful. But guys, the main question is, how do you use some Google apps on the smartphone? For instance, I'm a YouTuber, I need to use YouTube. I don't want to use YouTube in the browser. For instance, now um, there is YouTube Shorts. This phone has an amazing camera and video capability, so I want to upload Shorts from the device. 
but as you can see, I'm using the YouTube app on it. I'm even logged in here with the Tech Magnet channel where you are watching this video right now. But how does it work? Well, um, there is an app for that in the Huawei App Gallery. First, before we come to this, let's talk a little bit how to get apps in general. So you have the Huawei App Gallery. Now, the Huawei App Gallery evolved a lot. So from the beginning, um, yeah, there were not so many apps in there. But right now, um, for instance, for, I can just speak for Austria right now because I see all the Austrian apps because of the local settings of this phone. There's like 99.9% .9 of all the apps in there that people use in Austria. So for all the local apps you use on a common base um, for instance also my bank is the as the bank um, as you can see there is the app for this bank in there which is a native app from the bank that the app um, the bank coded for the app gallery so it's 100 percent safe many people were still concerned about using banking apps on huawei devices but you don't need to be concerned because huawei works with all the major banks in the countries that you have a secure and safe app on your phone then also there if you cannot find an application in the app gallery there's a good way um, which is called petal search it's the search engine that huawei implemented on huawei smartphones and here you can just search for any kind of application let's search for instance for i think it's called panda pad it's a gaming application um, if you go here to apps as you can see it will search for the app here um, i'm not sure if it's called panda pad actually <laughs> All right, guys, I just found it. It's called Panda Gamepad application. So as you can see, um, it will actually guide you to, for instance, APK Vision. APK Vision is, for instance, an, a third party APK store. There are many of them. There's APK Pure. There are so many of them. But um, it's not so safe if you don't know what you're doing um, to download APKs on an Android phone. But the good thing about Petal Search is that it has an integrated safety scanner. So once you download an APK, which is sometimes even a bit challenging, um, before you install it, Petal Search will scan this application, does a security check, says no threats found, and then it's safe to install the APK. So it's pretty cool that it really does some checks in the background. Is this really safe for my phone, what I'm installing here? Now this is um, Petal Search, but my favorite way, it's just the most convenient way on how to use apps on a Huawei smartphone, this is Cheesebase. Now Cheesebase, you can download Cheesebase directly from the Huawei app gallery. So if you search for Cheesebase, you can just install this from the app gallery. Once the app is installed, you just open it up and as you can see, there's the Play Store, there's YouTube, there's everything. Now you can just log in with your YouTube account, uh, with your Google account. And as you can see, I'm logged in right over here. And then you have the Play Store on your phone. So as you can see, this is really the whole Play Store. So this is not a third party store. This is the Play Store on the phone. Now it's not running natively on the phone because Huawei doesn't have Google mobile services. But with Cheesebase, you can run it and it works 100% safe and 100% smooth. So for instance, I'm currently downloading Call of Duty. As you can see, I can go here through the charts. I can download absolutely every application on the Mate 50 Pro. So this is the easiest way on how to use it. And once you have an app downloaded, for instance, um, PUBG Mobile, I just downloaded it. I want to have it on my desktop. You just tap and hold, and then you can create a shortcut on the home screen. Now, this is not something new for people who had a Huawei phone in the past, but um, what's new is that in the latest version of Gspace, there are no ads anymore. As you can see, nothing that pops up on your screen and we have an icon for the Play Store. So it's now much easier to go directly to the Play Store and you don't have any advertisements in there anymore. This is really amazing. So this is now a solution where I can say it is absolutely back to where it was before and you can use all those Google apps on your Huawei Mate 50 Pro. So overall, how does it feel to use the Mate 50 Pro? Um, to be honest, um, it's a great smartphone. It's absolutely amazing. The camera performance is sick. That's why it's also a winner um, in the DxOMark um, rating. And also it's a very smooth smartphone. Now, of course, it's not a 5G chipset, but to be honest, 5G is still in Austria. If I leave the main city, which is Vienna, um, then there is no 5G anymore. So I don't really need a smartphone with 5G right now. Um, it's a nice to have feature, but still it has the latest generation Snapdragon SoC. So it's fast like a hell and um, there are no hiccups and it's super smooth and even multitasking on the phone is really a pleasure. So overall, I can say if you're looking into getting a real flagship phone with 
stunning camera performance, Mate 50 Pro, there you go. Well guys, we're now here at the end of the video and the main question is, is the Huawei Mate 50 worth it? Now, if you're into photography, especially mobile photography, this is probably the best phone on the market. Now, the zoom, the physical aperture, the macro mode, all those things are just simply stunning. So this is nothing a normal smartphone can do. And it's really an industry leading phone when it comes to photography, but also performance, battery, screen, everything is amazing about the smartphone. Still many people are scared that you cannot use any apps on the smartphone, that you cannot use Google, that you cannot use YouTube, but that's actually not true. As you've seen in this video with Cheese it's literally like it's integrated into the smartphone. Of course you have an extra app, of course you need to open that app to open the Play Store and things like that. So I really don't think that it's a problem anymore to use apps on the Huawei smartphone, especially on the Mate 50 Pro. So overall, if you're really into photography, then this is probably the best smartphone you can buy right now on the market. Alrighty guys, so big thanks for watching. If you have any questions about the Mate 50 Pro, then leave a comment down below and I'll try to answer as soon as possible. Have a nice day and bye.